Welcome, and today we're going to be going over the Joomla content management system and how to add an article. Now, if you're not familiar with Joomla, uh, Joomla is a web-based CMS that stands for Content Management System. It allows you to easily add content to your website without knowing a lot of code. So, you know, it's good for startups, nonprofits, enthusiasts. I mean, anybody looking to start, you know, a dynamic website, an SEO-friendly website, um, you know, with a lot of features, uh, Joomla is a, a really good platform. So, um, assuming that you've already gone and you've you've installed your your Joomla site, uh, you're you're in the administrative panel now, and you're you're about to log in. Uh, you put your username and your password in, um, and you'll log in, and and you'll see uh, as as you verify your account, uh, there'll be an administrative dashboard. Um, right here where it basically shows you know all your uh, all your quick links to the different the different sections and features of the CMS now if you're gonna add an article obviously this, this little link right here you click add an article um, now it's important to note that you do need to set up a section and a category um, in order to add an article uh, if you if you leave it uncategorized um, you're probably going to run into problems uh, as far as how, how you're going to link that to a, a content item or where it's going to show up. Um, so make sure that you actually define a specific, uh, you know, disp specific section and category to this content item um, before you create that. And uh, to do that, I'll give you a quick overview of that just real quick. You, uh, up here at the top navigation, you'll see under content, um, section manager and category manager you're gonna go to your section manager and right here you'll see new click new and you know once that loads you'll see your title your alias and your description you just fill those in with whatever you want your section to be named um, and then once that's created you'll go back to your content tab here at the top menu and go to category and then you'll also click new and then whatever you named that uh, other section right here you'll see you'll link to that so whatever you named it you know you'll create a new category now why it's set up that way I, I believe is for higher volume uh, content sites you know sites that have hundreds and hundreds of articles like news sites uh, that type of hierarchy could be useful but to average bloggers and users of WordPress this doesn't make sense and just understand that it, it does have an application, it does have a usefulness. Primarily, um, when you create a menu item to say a blog layout, uh, it could show all the different, you know, all the, just like WordPress with tags, it could show all the different, you know, articles in a specific category. Um, and you can define that category with different widths and, um, or not widths, excuse me, but different, uh, you know, different actual layouts where it can be two column, you know, three column, and or just one column. So, a good example would be here on Axiom um, in our testimonial section. You know, we've linked and given uh, the different, um, you know, our different supporters and people that have given us testimonials in, into their own category. And then I linked that testimonial to everything that was in that section and made it a one column. So, it's you, you're seeing each of these uh, individuals in their own respective category, but it, it's showing everything in that section. Uh, with that link so that that's how that would be set up but today we're primarily just going over how to actually add an article so you go back to your article manager you've created a section you've created a category uh, you click new um, once you're in the article manager and that will load the screen that we were at earlier and, and you know now that you've got your section your category you name your title um, whatever you want to call it and you put in your your content and um, right here on the right it's very important to note uh, these parameters because that does you know define how that article may look you know whether or not you show your title whether or not the title is linkable your intro text you know whether to display the intro text and I'll get into more detail on that in other, you know, other tutorials. But for now, um, you know, you might go with your global configuration, see how that publishes, and then go back and refine your settings. 
Now, the global configuration settings, um, I'll get to that in a minute, but um, your key reference, what's the key, you know article, maybe your key reference, the name that you want to use, and your metadata, this is also important for SEO. I advise you fill out and take note of every single field and every article that you create uh, to optimize you know, the layout and make sure that it's very consistent and, and SEO friendly. Uh, once you've created that article, uh, you, you may want to give it an alias. Um, aliases are for search engines, you know, like this is my. Oh, you want to put a little space in there. Um, you know, so that's how it might look in the URL. Uh, and then you click save. Uh, now that you've created that article, it will show up in the section that it's linked to. Um, so that is basically how you add an article in Joomla. Until next time, this is Steve Floyd with Axiom, and thank you for joining me.